Hello friends, Hal here. Quail Studios Guitar. Let's talk a little bit about your guitar today because if it's not set up properly, then it's going to be hard to play. And if it's hard to play, then you're going to be thinking to yourself, maybe I need a different guitar. Maybe I need a better guitar. Maybe I need a more expensive guitar. And that's possible. You might need a different guitar. But let's talk a little bit about your guitar right now, the one you have, okay? If you look down your neck like this and sight the neck right down this edge and you say, okay, is that a straight neck or not? Can you see that? Is that straight? It's pretty straight. And look at both sides, not just one side, but the other side too. Now, there are things that you don't want the neck to look like this and you don't want the neck to look like that. And also, the height of the strings from the top of the frets is really important. The height of the strings from the 12th fret is important. The height of the saddle on the bridge is important. The curve of the neck or the straightness of the neck is important. So I'm going to give you some numbers, I guess you could say. I'm going to give you some actual solid things that you can measure. If you can't measure them, go, then go to someone who can. A luthier who actually works on guitars can talk to you about this. But I'm going to give you some ideas. Usually when you get a new guitar, especially an inexpensive guitar, they don't adjust this nut because you have to take something called a nut file and physically file it. And it takes time. And that costs money, right? Because you're paying somebody to do that. Well, what I do is I put my finger on the third fret and then I check the height right there. First fret, low E string, 21 thousandths of an inch, which is 0.508 millimeters. The E string right here, the height from the fret to the string should be 0 0.015 of an inch, 0 0.381 millimeters. On the 12th fret, E string should be 0 0.100, 2.54 millimeters. And here at the E string, 12th fret on this side, the measurement from the fret to the string should be 0 0.065, 1.651 millimeters. Now, if you want to check the neck, you know, the truss rod, put the cape on the first fret. I push down on the 12th fret. I measure right here at the seventh fret and the measurement should be six one thousandths of an inch or 0.1524 millimeters or if you have a business card, you slip it in there and that's how wide it should be. Here's a business card. That's my business card. Let's check that height with the business card. Seventh fret. Oh, you know what? Mine, mine is actually closer than that at the seventh fret because my, my string actually goes up. What goes on here is that the height of your string <laughs> Uh, is really, really important. And if it's too low, it'll buzz. Or if you, if you pluck it too hard, it'll buzz, right? And your playing style is important. If you are very aggressive, you'll get a bunch of buzzing. If you push the string down not hard enough, it'll buzz. Right? If you push it down the wrong spot, it'll buzz. So you've got, you know, it's not just your guitar, it's also your technique. Get your guitar checked out and make sure those strings are close enough to the frets so that when you play, it sounds beautiful and it's very easy to play. And I promise that if you do that, you will have a great experience on your guitar. It doesn't matter if you have a $200 guitar or a $3,000 guitar. Check it. That's all I have. Hey, I have a Patreon page. You can go over there and get your prize for making it to the all the way to the end of the video. I'll answer your questions and uh, help you with your guitar playing. Talk to you later. Bye.